Hi everyone, Gemma here. Thank you for watching today. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this autumnal themed 70th birthday showstopper card. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the colours on this. Just the pop of the red um, against the orange and the brown there. So I've made this style of card on the channel before, but obviously we're following a different theme and I've used the mats and layers slightly different um, just to extend the paper pad that I'm using. To create the card base, I'm using the Showstoppers collection from Made to Surprise, and this is the trifold 6x6 mechanism die. So you've got this large panel die, and I've cut that twice to double it up to make it into the Showstopper. I always reinforce the score lines, so I run that through my scoreboard, and I'll talk you through the folding guide now. So just pop this to one side. I'm going to flip this round so I've got the T on the left hand side. So the first score line that we come to is a mountain fold. So you just want to pinch those sort of score lines there. The next score line you've got um, running right through the panel. The outer two are uh, valleys and the inner one is a mountain so again sort of bend them into shape and pinch them if you can and then this one is a mountain and the last one is a valley so you've got that sort of shape in now in place and you just want to manipulate the card and move it so it falls down flat just want to take a gentle approach to that so you don't have sort of any tearing or any cracking and then just go in with your bone folder and burnish those score lines so then it'll pop up to a piece like that so i'm just going to go ahead now and do exactly the same on the opposite side So now that's folded, I'm going to attach these two panels together. So we create this um, X shape in the middle. So it's entirely up to you. You can go left over right, right over left. Um, I'm going to go for the right over the left. I'm just going to pop those two together like so. Next, I'm going to bring in the mats and layers that I've prepared. So I've done these slightly different to the um, the mats and layers that are included in the die set. The reason being is I've used this orange cardstock and I only had a limited amount plus the cardstock is 5 by 7 and this size panel here is um, 6 by 6. So I needed a way to stretch out the um, pattern paper and make use of it. I'm just going to flatten that down so we can see um, all the pieces that I've prepared. And I'll bring in the paper pad that I'm using now and all the additional elements that I've created. I've also gone ahead and heat embossed time to celebrate this huge birthday. So one's going to sit on the side there. And the other one is the poem from Made to Surprise, which is today's your birthday. It's all about you. Lots of presents and cards and, of course, a drink or two. Some singing and dancing, friends tapping their feet, enjoy the party and cake to eat. So there is a happy birthday on the top there. Um, so I sort of masked that off. I did capture a little bit of it um, with the uh, water ink pad, the, um, the Versamark. Um, but I'm going to be covering that up with some florals. So that will all be hidden. So they're going to sit on the side there. And then I've got my topper, which will go over the middle here. I've used the Creative Craft Products a Circle and Nesting Dies to create the topper. And then I've used um, the... Let me just bring them in so I don't get confused. So this is the paper pad. This is from My Creative Life. And this is the Watercolour Autumn paper pack. As I said, it's five by seven. So it didn't stretch to the whole of this panel here, which sort of cuts this, this kind of C shape. So that's why I've split it down like this. 
so I've used this orange floral design there um, this card was a request from a friend and they wanted um, an autumnal theme and I thought this paper pack would work really well with that so the floral on the top of there is also from the same pack so the stamps that I used are the showstopper pens a5 stamp set for this one here for the right hand panel and then for the left I've used the pop-up wiper book collection from me to surprise and this is the happy birthday stamp set and you've got a lovely image there that you can heat emboss or color this is a really nice set that is and then lastly as I said for my top I've used the creative um, this is the old packaging so it's now under creative craft products so these are the circle nestables and then i've got the 3d display card collection the large modern number die set from me to surprise and i've cut the 70 there so let's get back to the card um so now that i've laid everything out i'm just going to go, into go ahead and attach all my mats and layers and then I'll come back um, with the floral elements that I'm going to use to decorate this card. So I've gone ahead and I've attached all my mats and layers and my topper. I've got some um, floral and some foliage elements here and I've die cut them from the autumn wreath seven piece die set from My Creative Life. So I've got some really lovely florals, nice size on those. And then you've got some smaller elements here so i'm going to have um, a cluster at the bottom i think like so and then as i said i have to um disguise that bit of watermark there on the top so the other one's going to go there and then i've got um some foliage dyes in gold this lovely um, color I actually um, use a distress oxide ink to color some white card stock and I've die cut those pieces out of there I didn't have anything in my stash that matched this really lovely sort of pinky red color so I believe I use festive berries um, and I've die cut some of those so we've got bit to go there use the same color um, as the base card there and just brought in some gold mirror card to add a bit of shine so again I'm going to go ahead now and attach those um, and I'll come back to you once they've been added so there's the finished card I think it looks gorgeous I really love this color combination together the orange and with the white against this sort of um, lighter brown cardstock there love all the florals that pop of pink and orange and you've got the 70 on the front there I've added some gold pearls from my stash and yeah I think the final card has turned out lovely i'm really pleased with it i hope um that my friend likes it um so let me know what you think in the comments below so just hold it a little closer so you can see all that gorgeous shine from the mirror card and the embossing there so i'm going to make a um a bag style envelope to pop this in so this all folds down flat just pop one side underneath the other and then it all falls down like this so i'm going to make a bag to um, fit that in and i'm also going to add some white panels on the back of these two pieces here so that you can write your message i hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial if you have please hit the like button leave a comment or consider subscribing to the channel if you do subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials all the products used in today's video will be listed in the description box below so once again thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye